Hey race fans, welcome to another edition of Checkers or Wreckers. I am Ronnie Checkers, your host. This week's episode, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for, we've got 300 plus subscribers right now with all the kind words and comments we've been receiving. Keep it up, I appreciate it. Hopefully, sooner or later, I'm gonna figure out how to do the fancy graphics and maybe know how to edit the video so you don't have to do this all in one take, be able to splice it together real nice, make a high production value out of this. Well, thank you very much for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe. Now, or just like whatever. Back to racing, and coming off the second week of the playoffs, we've got one more to go. It's tomorrow night's race at Bristol. I'd like to say, oh, look at Brad Keselowski coming from out of nowhere. It looks like he might be a playoff contender. Now, I say that because, as we know, he's been running this chassis in the high to downforce, low downforce, high horsepower package. He run in New Hampshire. He dominated the race at Richmond, and he plans on running that thing at Phoenix. Now... Here's the problem is that he's got to make it to Phoenix, but if he does, all my money's going to be on Brad Keselowski in that two-for-two two chassis. I've been rooting for Ryan Truex all playoffs. I think that that was my playoff pick, but second place, uh, if you ain't first, you're last when it comes to Phoenix. So it don't really matter how many second place finishes Ryan Truex can come up with. Martin Truex, excuse me. Martin Truex can come up with, but, you know, he's going to be in Kyle Busch territory. We're too little too late. Back to, uh, let's see, Austin Dillon. Holy, look at Austin Dillon entertaining the hell out of the fans, Darlington, Richmond. Never thought that he really would do much of anything, but now he's gotten a little excited and thrown into the mix. Looks like the boy knows how to drive a little bit. That's, well, we'll see. Neither here nor there. Now to the silly season that we have right now going on in NASCAR, and let's just focus on one, but Bubba Wallace. Now, I'd have to say that Bubba Wallace is a polarizing character in NASCAR. A lot of people don't like Bubba Wallace. A lot of people say, oh, he's ruining NASCAR. Well, he ain't ruining NASCAR. Shut up. I mean, NASCAR needs to adjust to the times so that it can survive. And right now, it looks like Bubba Wallace is one of the most popular drivers when it comes to the fans. Maybe not the NASCAR fans at the track. Still getting a lot of booze, but a lot of young fans do like Bubba Wallace. And Bubba Wallace has a lot of financial support. So my thought is, I wonder what Willie T. Ribs would have been able to do with all this financial opportunity and, and support backing from the teams. Can just pick his ride, going to get some quality equipment hopefully next year. I'd like to see what he would have done, uh, 17 Trans Am wins, what he would have been able to do in NASCAR if he actually gotten the support that Bubba Wallace has received. Now, Bubba Wallace is just taking advantage of all the opportunities that are afforded to him. And congratulations to Bubba Wallace. Uh, ride where you want to ride. There is really one spot. I know that you're at Petty and you, it's a mediocre team when it comes to equipment. And you thanked them all. You did a good job when it came to the way you exited. But there's only one ride that Bubba Wallace can fit in next year. And it's going to be the 48, 48 car left over by Jimmy Johnson at Rick Hendrick. Now, he's going to bring his own money, and if you don't put him in top quality equipment, well, we're never going to really know. I mean, Bubba Wallace is never going to really find out how well he can ride when he gets into that top tier stuff. Now, who else is more talented right now that's available than Bubba Wallace? I mean, you might say uh, Kyle Larson, but Rick Hendrick can't put Kyle Larson in the 48 car and not put Bubba Wallace in the 48 car. That's going to be a, a big issue right there. We'll just leave it right there. But I believe that Bubba Wallace gets in that 48 ride, and if he can't win within three years, uh, then it's all hype. And I think even Bubba wants to find out. But you, you guys won six times in the NASCAR Truck Series, so I don't understand why you can't just give the boy a chance and let him ride in the 48 car Rick Hendrick. Uh, come on, Rick Hendrick. That's what I want to see. I want to see Bubba Wallace get into that car and get him a real opportunity for some quality quality ride. Uh, that's really much all we got. Thank you, fans. Uh, we got one sending me the KFB shirt that we're rocking this week. Uh, hopefully Kyle Busch can turn it around, but I really think he's cursed by that little girl. We're going to find out uh, Bristol tomorrow night, and we'll have another episode of Checkles or Wreckers after that one. So have a wonderful night. Enjoy the race of the Xfinity race tonight. Have a great race, at the Food Standard race at Bristol tomorrow, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching Checkers or Wreckers.